Hello, my name is Jeff Givens. I'm a photographer, a musician, and a videographer. And I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up Machine with Cubase. So first thing we're going to do is open up a new project. I'm using Nuendo, but it's exactly the same in Cubase. So pop up an instrument track with Machine in there. And I'm going to load up a generic drum kit to start with. So we'll go over to the, the browser. Let's go with this one right here. Click on the group itself right here in Machine. And go to this little icon right here to change the input and output settings. So first let's click on the input. I we'll go to key mode, change that to manual. Leave the source set to none. I'm going to set the channel to 1. And for these drum pads, I'm going to set it to C3. I'm going to leave the through set to off. Next thing we're going to do is click on the sounds. And we want to change all of the sounds in this drum kit. So we want to make sure we go Command A to select all of these sounds. So first let's click on the input and MIDI. This one we leave the source to default. We set the channel to 1 and we set the through to off. Then we go to output and we click on MIDI and we choose host as the destination, set the channel to 1. Last thing we need to do in machine is right click and choose group MIDI batch setup and choose sound to MIDI notes. Once we've done that, we can now go to our MIDI track and we can see that MIDI information is coming through this MIDI track and we're going to be able to record on this track just like we would a normal virtual instrument with a normal controller. So let's try playing along with something here. Turn on the click. Okay, so there's my first little beat. We'll call that kit one. And I'm going to double click on that and quantize it just like I normally would. So select the notes, quantize. Let's have a listen to that. And of course, we can adjust the velocity, uh, edit notes, etc., etc. And I'm just going to resize this so that it's two bars long. So here's the cool part. Once I've got one kit all routed and set up properly, and then right click the kit, I can save that as a preset. So I'm just going to choose Save, and we'll call this um, Default Kit for Cubase. Uh, let's save that right there. And then now, if I click on my personal library, I can see Default Kit Cubase right there. And you'll notice this routing button at the bottom of the browser. So if I make a new group and I click on, double click on Default Kit Cubase, it's going to load up that same drum kit. And if I click on the inputs, we can see that the routing comes with it. So if I click on Input MIDI, I see all of this routing comes with the routing that I saved in that patch, as long as that plus routing is on. So the cool thing about that is now I can just go back over to any other kit and I can double click on it. But at this point, I want to make sure I turn the plus routing off because I don't want the routing that was saved in the kit as you see it in the browser. So I turn that off and I click on, say, this 909 kit right here. Double click on it. And then now what I need to do is make a new MIDI track for channel 2 in Machine. And the only thing I will need to change that doesn't come with the routing is the MIDI channel. So I make sure my group is set to channel 2. I make sure the sounds, all of them, remember to do this. Command A to select all of them. And then click on Input, set it to channel 2, and Output set it to channel 2, and then right click the kit and choose Group MIDI Batch Setup Sounds to MIDI Notes. Now I should be able to go to MIDI channel 2 and have a totally different drum kit in channel 1. So I can go to channel 2 right now and make sure I click on Group B over here on Machine as you're switching back and forth, and now I can play something along here as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to control 
other virtual instruments with Machine. So I'm going to make another instrument track. We'll load up Omnisphere. And I'm going to click on a new group. So I go over to my third group over here. I'll start on group. I click on input. I change the key mode to manual. I'm going to set the channel to one. And I'm not going to change the start note on this one. And then I'm going to also click on the sound and make sure I click on MIDI input or leave the source set to default and set the channel to one and turn the MIDI through off. And then I click on the output and I choose host as the destination channel one and then right click the group and go group MIDI batch setup sounds to MIDI notes. And now we're controlling Omnisphere with machine. So I'm going to set it to keyboard mode. And now I'm playing notes on machine and controlling Omnisphere. I can hit the chords tab if I want and play some chords. I can set the chord type to, you know what, let's put it in a major type for a second and then we'll put it to one, three, five, seven. So we're getting some seventh chords in there. So that's kind of cool. Let's change the patch here. That's a little bit annoying. And we'll go to, let's try this pluck sound right here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's try playing this along with what we've got already. All of the chords have come into our Cubase project. So we can go in and fine tune the chords. We can change the notes on the chords. We can embellish them if we want and we can quantize them. You can now use this group, group C, to control any virtual instrument. Check this out. So I'm going to right click and go add instrument track and I'm going to pop up a groove agent and load up a drum kit and make sure that MIDI is coming from machine, which it is. And you'll notice this doesn't work at first because right now our pads are set to C3. So nothing's happening. But if I just go up to the octave button up top here and set that to C1 right there, we are going to have control from this device onto our Groove Agent track. Once I've loaded up a Groove Agent, I'm going to go and make sure I'm on keyboard mode, not on chords anymore. So that's definitely on chromatic. And this is now controlling all of the pads on Groove Agent. So this just shows you how you can work with pretty much any virtual instrument, all from one group that you're using as a controller. And I hope this helps some of you out. And thanks for watching.